Welcome, my dear friend. I am pleased you've joined us. This is another presentation in the series, Flashes of Light. And in this segment, we're examining the question, who were the sons of God in Genesis chapter 6? Reading from verse 1, the Bible says, And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Who were these sons of God? The popular explanation is that the sons of God were angels who intermarried with human women and produced a superior race. Let me tell you immediately that that is 100% wrong. The sons of men were simply those who did not follow God. Now, in the Bible, the word sons does not always refer to a biological connection. It may refer to a symbolic connection in the sense that one person is very much like someone else. For instance, when James and John came to Christ as disciples, Jesus recognized in their temperament boisterousness. They were quick to fight. They were loud. He called them the sons of thunder because they were like thunder in their behavior. In his prayer in John 17 verse 12, Jesus said, While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest to me I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, referring to Judas. Jesus called Judas the son of perdition. It is the same name given to the Antichrist in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Why did Christ refer to Judas as the son of perdition? Because his intentions were destructive to the work of Christ. Perdition is destruction or waste. And so Jesus called Judas the son of perdition. But Judas was not fathered by perdition. There is a symbolic uh, expression. Now, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 12, the Bible says, Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They knew not the Lord. Belial means waste, destruction. They were called the sons of Belial, the sons of destruction, the sons of waste, the sons of uselessness, because they were morally bankrupt and corrupt. And so they were called the sons of Belial, not biological sons, but by behavior and temperament. And the verse explains what is meant. They knew not the Lord. Because they did not know God, they were called the sons of Belial. Now we go back to Genesis 6, reading from verse 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God, those who had a relationship with God, those who were descendants of the line of Seth, the holy line, they began to be attracted to the daughters of men, meaning those who did not have a relationship with God. The sons of God cannot be angels because the Bible is very clear, angels do not reproduce. In Luke chapter 20, reading from verse 34, and Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage. That's what human beings do. But they which shall be counted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection out of the dead, neither marry or are given in marriage. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels. They are like angels who do not reproduce. By the way, the Bible never presents an angel as male or female. It is believed by Bible scholars that the angels are asexual. They are neither male nor female. The sons of God in Genesis 6 refers to those of the holy line proceeding from Seth. The daughters of men were the worldly ones, and when they mixed, the results were catastrophic, to such a degree that the flood followed and the world was destroyed. The sons of God, in Genesis 6 verse 3, refer to the men of God who were uh, regrettably involved themselves with unsaved women. Angels do not reproduce. The sons of God could not be angels. As I said again, they were men from the holy line proceeding from Seth who unfortunately involved themselves with women who had no relationship with God and that union produced people who built the Tower 
of Babel. I hope that was a blessing to you. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again in this ongoing series, Flashes of Light. God bless you.